Now, I might be stating the obvious here, but something happened in the PBA this week that proves without doubt that two-handed bowling has officially taken over the game. At the Scorpion Championship, it was an all two-handed stepladder final with all five players being two-handed bowlers and four of these players were left-handed too. Now, obviously, we know two-handed bowling has changed the sport forever and the fact that it's taken over the game is not really uh, a shocking statement because we all know that is the case. However, this is the first time in PBA history we've had an all two-handed telecast. And it's very telling and just shows how much the game has evolved in such a short space of time. And with practically every other good junior bowler being two-handed and all the influx of two-handed bowling that we've just had over the years, this will not be the last time we have an all two-handed telecast. To be honest, I'm very surprised it hasn't happened before now with so many of the top bowlers on the PBA using two hands. Now, whether or not this is a good thing for the game, and the PBA, well, I'll leave you all to fight that one out in the comments section below. But regardless of how many hands these guys use, this show was packed with talent and some players that are crowd favourites, so it was set to be a very lively and action-packed show. Now, normally I break down each match of these telecasts, but today I'm going to do something a little bit different and do more of a highlight reel and pick out five moments in this telecast that really stood out to me, and these will be in no particular order. So let's jump straight into it with number one, Bermonte's 2-10 conversion. Bermonte was down early in match one after a 4-10 leave in the third frame, but he did bounce back with three in a row to get himself back into the match, but left the 2-10 in frame seven. However, he managed to convert it and it kept him right in the match, although it wouldn't be enough as he would lose to Svensson in the opening match, but still a great pressure conversion from Bermonte. Number two, an all lefty final. Not only were all the bowlers on the telecast two-handed, four of them were lefties and after Bermonte was eliminated in game one, this meant that it was essentially an all lefty show from then on and this is not something we've seen in a while. Lefties have had a bit of a hard time of it recently, especially during the 2024 USBC Masters when they were pretty much shut out due to the pattern that was being used. So it was good to see the lefties in full force and it also meant we've had two left-handed winners in one week after Dio Bernard won the Cheetah Championship on Monday night. Number three, Kevin Williams and his interesting 3-5-9 conversion. Next, we come to Kevin Williams, who had an interesting way of converting this spare, the 3-5-9. I'd like to say this was intentional, but unfortunately, I don't think it was. Number four, no more silence. Normally, there's a deathly silence when bowlers are up on their approach, but there was none of that during the Packy and Williams match. Let's get loud the whole time. Come on, let's have some fun. Come on. You gotta love it. The crowd were cheering while the players were bowling, almost like it was the PBA League, and it's also reminiscent of some of the telecasts back in the year 2000, when the crowd were making lots of noise during the players' approach. I did wonder if this is something the crowd are being encouraged to do to make more of an atmosphere on the telecast because we also saw this at the Cheetah Championship, but this time it was clearly both Packy and Williams really hyping up the crowd and getting them involved. And I will say the crowd were respectful and they did remain silent during crucial parts of the match, particularly towards the end of the match when things got close and then the silence returned. It definitely gives the telecast a different feel and it is great to see that interaction with the players and it does make it more fun. And I do think there was a good balance between you know, the crowd getting really hyped up really loud, but then at the same time, bringing that kind of silence um, when the pressure got high. So I think it worked well and I'm sure we'll see more of it in other shows. And finally, number five, Matt Russo winning his second title. And our final highlight is of course, Matt Russo winning the Scorpion Championship for his second 
career PBA title three years after his first. I feel like Russo has been knocking on the door for a while now and has been poised to really break out and I think now is the time he's going to do so. I'm confident we'll see more of him in the future and he's already made another TV show this week, the Shark Championship, but I think he will have his eyes on a major title and if he can continue this kind of form, he will be back into the winner's circle very quickly. Overall, a very confident performance from Russo on this telecast and I think that this whole telecast was just great fun. It was great to see. A lot of people won't be happy that it was an all two-handed final, but there were some great moments throughout and it was very enjoyable. So there we have it. That was my quick recap slash top highlights from the Scorpion telecast. And there's still more bowling to come. We've got the World Championship coming up this weekend. So I will definitely be doing some videos on that one. And I'd just like to thank you all for watching all of my videos recently. I've been doing quite a few with all of the bowling telecasts we've had throughout the World Series of Bowling. So thank you so much. And if you have enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you would just click the subscribe button below. That will be all from me for today. And as always, thank you bowling fans and see you all next time.